Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I picked up a new gadget off of Amazon and it's a crepe maker. So this one here is a 13 inch non-stick cooking surface with a temperature selector and I guess one of those offset spatulas and what else we'll see well there's a couple of items here looks like a measuring cup you can see that and um, I don't know what you would call that a spreading utensil to evenly spread the batter so let's open this up take a look So I have some batter I already mixed up. You can go on the internet and see all the different uh, ways that batter is made, but hopefully mine will work out. Do a couple of test runs with this. So as you can see, the top here we have, oh, that actually looks bigger than the picture. Didn't get a good sense of the size of that. I guess I would imagine that that's the a portion needed to cover the 13 inch surface. Comes with the manual. And it's boxed with styrofoam on both sides. Man, it's not going to come out easily. It's lighter than I thought it was going to be. There's the offset spatula on the side. That's good size. You can buy these utensils separately too. Here's the, this is plastic. They have like wooden ones. Here's, well, this is an offset. It's just straight. Good amount of surface there. Would have liked an offset one. Might get one of those. So let's open this up. Cord is attached. And there's the surface area. So let me plug this in. Also has this adjustable temperature control arm here. Um, it's marked one, two, three, and four. Proctor Silix. I think that's how it might be pronounced. So yeah, let me give this a try. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this actually has a setting from one to eight. So the booklet recommends starting off on four. And you don't have to cover the whole surface. Um, this measuring cup here goes up to three quarters of a cup, but if you can see there's a little bit of a flange there, we go to that point, that's a half a cup, and that says that's a smaller crepe will be created with that. Uh, you do want to oil this or butter. The booklet says butter. But I'm going to put some oil on here, coat this surface. It's a non-stick surface. The oil is kind of pooling, or you can tell it's non-stick. Um, did bring a paper towel. I don't know.
there is butter in the mix and oddly enough or curiously the batter that I'm using uh, from a YouTube video I watched is exactly um, same as what's in the booklet there same recipe so let's make my first very first crepe here um, yeah so start in the middle I think I'm going to use a little bit less um, it's going to be larger when you use this thing. So I'll see if I get the hang of this. Whoa, yeah, I can see. You got to be kind of quick because it, it's cooking. Okay. Yeah, I can see you, it's going to be a learning process to get the feel of this. So two to five minutes. Actually, it says one to two minutes. It's funny. This says to refrigerate. I thought I had read That a good crepe mix has to sit overnight in the fridge, but you're supposed to mix it at room temperature. So this says put it in the fridge for an hour. But then the butter, I don't know, I, I read that the butter will granulate and give you a, a gritty texture. So... Cook one to two minutes or until the bottom of crepe is lightly browned. Use spatula to turn crepe over. Uh, That's another thing I wanted to mention is with the larger size, I realized I didn't have a plate large enough to put these crepes on, but you don't have to make them the size of the surface area. I don't know what I was thinking, but oh, I see some. So when, when the... Edges start to brown. Well, it is not sticking, but I can't seem to. Okay, so the edges are brown, but the center is is not brown. Or the under, underneath. I know that these tend to have mixed reviews as far as even cooking. I'm starting off, like I said, with four. Uh, it could be the oil also might have different results with butter wow these are thin i guess hmm. well <clears throat> let me stand up here getting a little bit burnt on the edges here or brown this spatula is not really helping. Okay, that's not bad. Got a little bit of a fold here. A little bit of brown. And Maybe 20, 30 seconds on the other side. Yeah, I don't, I was watching a, a video, a Japanese cook, and she was just using a chopstick, which really seemed to work out really good. Let's see if I have one I can use. So yeah, adjust the temperature accordingly. That's four. Show you what it looks like. So I don't, don't know exactly how much brown you want on a crepe. Yeah, I don't. OK, 
Okay, that looks good. Hmm. It's pretty thin. I made a pretty thin crepe. So that's what I have. Looks pretty good. Now I, I'm going to put it on wax paper, which might not have been a good idea. But that's just going to melt the wax, right? So there's one crepe. Let me pour another one and give you a view from above. What's going on? All right, so I still have oil on here. Just put another coating. some batter and you have to be quick well, it looks like I wasn't as good with, with this one. Oh, you know what I seen a video where they store this in water next to the hot plate get off any residual. Maybe that prevents you from making these uh, defects. What happens is it's, it cooks while you're spreading it and then it clumps up. So just wipe this off I guess. So this one, actually, I went backwards with the quality of the crepe first one was good, second one was not as good. They're kind of thin too. I guess it's all in the, in the technique. Oh yeah, let me get a let me get a chopstick. All right, so as soon as the edges are dry, take your spatula or your chopstick. Oops. Well, maybe not that. This one is not turning out too too good. I said it's all in your technique what you're gonna gain with experience and use so there's second one these are coming out pretty thin all right so I've made one more might be getting the hang of this let's try one more Maybe not. Fill that in. Yeah, I changed my mind. I like the larger surface area because there is a little bit of a raised lip around the edge. And you can make these as small or as large as you want, up to 13 inches, like I said. I just like the the flexibility of the larger surface.
All right, so let's flip this one. Whoops. Okay. Disaster avoided. So you can see the the browning there. I mean, some people were complaining about the unevenness. I mean, this seems to be, you're going to have unevenness even with a pan and your stovetop uh, burner, depending on the quality of the pan and the evenness of your heat source. I mean, it's not like it's burning and the center is raw. It's, it's, it's pretty good pattern here it seems. You can be the judge of that. I'm just showing you what uh, my results are. And I haven't experimented with the heat. It's on four. And I don't have a lot of experience with what people expect from a crepe as far as texture. I already ate, ate one, it was pretty good, just without, just plain. Yeah, the only question is how long will this last? Um, I don't know, unless you're of a business, I uh, probably want an industrial one. But if you're just a home user, I don't know if you won't be, won't be making these on a daily basis, I don't think. So there's my, I'll finish it there and then we'll put some toppings on this. It's got three here. That's the underside there. You can see the browning. I think that's what people look for in a crepe from what I've seen. I'm going to put the rest of this batter in the fridge and see if um, having it sit for a while improves this. So this is the batter that I made up. All right, so you want to turn this off. Slide this to the one position. Wait for it to cool down. I guess the green light's going to stay on because it's that temperature as you look when you lower it. So I'm just going to unplug it though. It is uh, the base does not get hot. I can pick this up. The center is a little warm, but yeah, it's probably don't want to touch. Yeah, you don't want to touch the metal, but the plastic stays pretty cool. All right, so here's one of the crepes that I made and just some strawberries and some bananas and a little whipped cream. Your to toppings that you choose are limited by your imagination. So just put some strawberries down here. Put Nutella. I've seen people put Nutella, chocolate syrup. Probably put a scoop of ice cream. A little whipped cream. And you get yourself a nice dessert. I guess a crepe taco. Dessert taco. I don't know if you're supposed to eat this with a fork and a knife, but I'm going for it with my hands. So that was Proctor 
Silex Durable Crate Maker. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. They're not sponsoring this in any way. Bought that myself off of Amazon. I'm sure there are other brands out there. Nice homemade dessert. So, other than I think the offset spatula might be better. And you can make savory ones, I guess, of crepes. Not don't necessarily have to be a dessert. Comes with the measuring cup, that spatula, and that uh, spreader. So, if you're interested in crepe maker, that's an option other than you know uh, a crepe pan and making it on the stove top. But if you need to be more portable, I guess. So, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're in the market or looking for a uh, crepe maker, seems to be working. Like I said, everything seems to have mixed reviews. I saw people talking about the evenness of the of the cook cooking uh, of the crepe, but as you can see, what I had on the number four setting, kind of even. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I guess you can't really give it a thumbs down because it doesn't show up anymore on YouTube. Hmm. Thanks for watching.